What I've been hearing from deans and chairs and faculty is that uh, the age in which architecture is highly related to theory and form making uh, need, need, need to kind of pass away, that this was a, you know, a fixation of the 80s and 90s, and now um, students are learning architecture in a more integrated way. That is, theory has its place, it's essential to understanding um, architecture and its, its kind of fundamentals, but knowing how buildings are put together, knowing how the architect works with uh, other disciplines and how the architect works with communities is just as important. Um, ACSA is the membership organization for schools of architecture, primarily in the U.S. and Canada. Our members are the professional schools, that is, they have accreditation to produce future architects. Um, we were founded in 1912, um, and we'll be celebrating our 100th anniversary in four years. Looking forward to that. Um, there are 127 schools that are our core membership. Uh, Ten of those schools are in Canada, the rest are in the U.S. We have affiliate members, which are either uh, pre-professional programs or programs outside the U.S. that offer architecture degrees. And so um, the schools pay the dues for ACSA, and if you're a faculty member at one of our member schools and you're a member of ACSA and you get to participate in all our activities. Um, I think one generational shift that's going on has to do with um, the interest in architecture students to be involved in the community. Um, there, there are, are, are um, students see architecture not just as um, a profession like medicine or law, they see it as a kind of service profession uh, on the order of um, um, social work or social science where they understand that the work they do um, affects communities and, and real people and so they want to involve this, um, the communities from the beginning in their design process and that's why they go to architecture school. They aren't just there to build the iconic building, they're there to kind of serve the community and to, and to work with regular people. This is something that I think the architecture profession really saw a groundswell in the early 70s with and I think you're seeing a resurgence now in the last five or ten years of that. I'm seeing another generational shift among the faculty. Um, you're seeing uh, faculty that are uh, early in their career that see architecture as a profession um, in a kind of unified way. That is, they see design and construction going together. They understand that the studio is an integration of uh, theory and history and structures and building technology, and they, and they want the students to, to learn that comprehensively and they don't see the architect as being just responsible for the design process. They want students to understand buildings holistically. I think one of the things that's coming in architecture school is um, the virtual classroom. Right now there aren't any accredited schools of architecture that offer um, online education all the way through. There are some that are doing low residency and, and, and taking advantage of that but it hasn't gotten to the point where you take studio virtually, where you connect with your um, jurors or with your professor uh, through interactive television or through video conferencing. You don't do critiques like that. And um, once that happens, I think you'll, you'll be able to see what's going, what, what kind of the next phase is for uh, the integration of uh, all these digital tools into uh, the profession.